Using blend shapes to help assist in modeling is a great technique. It's very similar to Maya's proxy tool. However, I find it to be very easy. You simply make a duplicate of your mesh, select the original mesh, and then shift select on the blend shaped mesh. When you go into the animation mode, select blend shape, and then you'll need to go into windows and select for the blend editor. Now the blend editor is currently set to zero. So when you're moving a vertice, nothing reacts. However, once you turn the slider up to 100%, now it's actually recording 100% of your movement. Now go back into modeling mode and apply a smooth. Go ahead and increase the smooth one division, so it's now two divisions. And this will give us enough definition that when we move our low poly mesh, we'll actually see the changes take place on the high poly mesh. What I like to do is place the high poly mesh onto a layer and lock it out so that there's just no issues of selecting it. Now wherever I move, whether edges or vertices, I can immediately see my changes take place onto the smooth mesh and know that this is how my end result is going to look, especially if I'm using a sculpting tool such as Mudbox. Now the next step is once you're happy with the completed mesh, you need to then take the high poly mesh and revert back your divisions to zero and then to clean up you need to delete all history. This will disconnect the connection between the two blend shapes. You can either save the original or go ahead and delete the original and save the duplicate mesh at this point.